Happy Friday. Okay, we finally made it to the end Yay! of the week. Oh my gosh, Crystal. And it is beautiful weather outside right now. Uh, you can't beat this. Um, ordered it up just in time for the opening day of the State Fair. Yes, we're so excited about the State Fair. We talked about it all morning long. I can't believe it. It's finally here. We've been waiting for it. I want to eat those Piggly Wiggly fries, the pizza, the corn dogs, the corn on the cob, the Indian fried bread. The list can go on and on. <laughs> it does. You know, in perfect weather to go with the 3,000 calories you're going to consume yeah. in one sitting, right? Mm -hmm. But there's so much happening around the state. There's an Oktoberfest happening in downtown Phoenix this weekend, an Oktoberfest in Flagstaff, and one of my favorites, <gasps> Schnepp yes. Farm, the Pumpkin and Chili Festival is so, kicking off. I recently went there. Did you? And they have a glamping area. Did you know that? Yes, Oh that's my right. gosh, it's so cool. You can go glamping over there mm -hmm. at Schnepp's Farm, and it was amazing. And you can even read some books and um, roast some marshmallows. It's cool. It's so, so unique, and I love when it's the chili festival time to dig in on that chili and also go through that corn maze and there's fireworks at night and of course the hillbilly bobs pig races and if you love alpacas my friends up at <laughs> alpacas of the southwest in kingman they're having alpaca farm day and you said one gives you a kiss and freddie Freddie. So go, see, for freddie. go see my friend freddie he'll give you a nice smooch so <laughs> hug her up but we can't forget vanessa it is national taco day oh. today We've yes. been dreaming of this moment yes. for a very long time. Oh my gosh, we have mm -hmm. been drooling all morning long just at the thought of the tacos. I mean, mm -hmm. we can eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? It's exactly. okay today. Exactly, and I have an hour-by-hour -hour forecast <gasps> for all of your three, maybe four meals today. So let's break it down here for you. Starting out at 9 o'clock, I would say that breakfast with a side of a taco and guac, right? 80 degrees, more sunshine than anything. Then the sun continues to roll Lunchtime, find some shade near you if you're enjoying the tacos al fresco. Low 90s at that time. We will see the mercury spike at 95 today and around dinner time. Your next taco meal in the low 90s. Still clear skies at night. Perhaps a late night taco snack at 9 o'clock, 85 degrees. And guys, here's a fun fact. Switching to another graphic. What? Did you know Americans ate more than four and a half billion <laughs> tacos last year? Uh, yeah, I totally believe that. Oh my goodness. I mean, I, every Taco Tuesday? That's just Americans, not the whole world, yeah. just Americans. <laughs> it's I think, amazing. I think uh, today an AZ team probably contributed to a good chunk of that, right? Oh, for <laughs> sure, yeah. I, we love tacos, we're always talking yes. about them. So we have a couple people chiming in here sharing their favorite taco up. places. We have Monica, she said she likes uh, Uberito tacos on 44th Street and Indian mm. School. They have amazing ones. I know Los Taquitos is a local restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's owned by a, uh, a group of females here. They're amazing, so they have like three or four locations in the Valley. Those those tacos are so good. They're like little street tacos. Mm -hmm. I can eat like 10 of those tacos. Oh my. Now, are you a flour or corn tortilla? I need to know. Uh, from I like to do one of each. One of each? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like flour is my favorite. Okay. I'm pulling up some of the comments now to see what you guys are going with. Elizabeth says Manuel's on 28th Street. In That's Indian a good one. School. And then, you know, <laughs> Sheila's just OMG. I just love tacos. I, I love point. Joe. That's He's like Del Taco, LOL. Del Taco, yes. <laughs> hey, With you the know, laugh sometimes emojis. Taco Bell and Del Taco does the trick. I, I mean, mean, we were talking about Taco Bell yesterday. Paul. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on pa. a second. Hold on. I wasn't actually going to get involved in this at all, <laughs> but... You can't say Taco Bell and Del Taco in the same sentence. Those are two completely different entities. You think they are different? It's a different set of standards, I feel okay. like. Really? Like, I, I'm not trying to be a corporate shill for either place, but, like, Taco Bell is just kind of like... It's a, it's not it's its own fast food genre. Like, Del Taco is a whole separate... I, I feel like the last time I ate a Del Taco, I got food poisoning. <gasps> just, like, completely... Oh. Out, just throwing that out there. <laughs> um, so I prefer uh -oh. not to go back. Okay. Um, so well, you had a bad experience with Del Taco then. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm sure other people like their tacos. Well, good for you. Thumbs up. That's great. Don't talk about Jack in the Box tacos either. Those aren't tacos. It's like a slice of cheese stuffed into like a fried. What is that? You had Del Taco taco or uh, Jack no, in the Box does. tacos. Yeah, it's just like some type of meat. I don't know what kind of meat's These in are there. Tacos. Yes. So this is a this is a great segue. This is why Paul's really here. Yes, to talk it's about to this eat because um, we are getting you ready. We know we're talking about National Taco Day today, but next weekend is the big taco festival. It's their 10th anniversary. I go to this every year and it is so much fun. I mean, there's so many things to do out there. You can also drink, eat, play games, so many things. And everybody's out there. You can dance and party. They have a tent where you can dance. I think it's the El Jefe tent. It's oh, like a fun. club there at the event. 
Okay, so you do not want to miss out on this. We have some guests with us. John, come, come on over. over here. And we have the Taco Festival truck. Take a look at this truck. John, this is something new this year, right? The Taco Festival truck? This is truck? something new. This is our first year with the taco truck. We, uh, M Culinary, one of our wonderful partners, gave us this truck to promote, to do pop-ups like this, where we can come and make tacos for wonderful people like you two, to promote the Arizona Taco Festival next weekend. Okay, so it's at a new location this year. It is at a new location. For our 10-year anniversary, we're moving it up to Westworld. It's one of the, as you guys probably know, one of the preeminent event venues in town. They do Barrett Jackson. They do the polo matches. They're involved with the Waste Management Open. So for them to ask us to t take our 10-year anniversary event out there was really special. Okay. What's the craziest taco you've ever made or you've seen at this festival? Oh my gosh, that is a really <laughs> tough one. As an event producer, I feel like any answer I give is going to be incorrect and I'm going to offend some people, so I'm going to plead the fifth on the craziest taco at the festival. I will say they're all outstanding. We have 50 plus restaurants and food trucks coming out giving us their versions of tacos. We have everything from your traditional tacos to Caribbean tacos to pizza tacos this year. So, pizza tacos? Yes. I think that answered my question. Oh that my would be gosh. kind of the most outlandish yeah. taco. Well, I answered it without upsetting anybody. <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. Pizza taco is probably the craziest one. Okay, so Rachel is new to town and she's never been to the taco festival. So tell her what she can expect. There are so many different things out there besides the wonderful food and the wonderful vendors. You know, it's a local uh, business driven event. We love to focus on all the local businesses. It's uh, we also a new addition this year. We have a Lucha Libre arena and club. So what when the Lucha wrestling <laughs> isn't taking place, there's actually going to be a DJ on in the ring yes. playing music. We'll have go go dancers, the full nightclub feel. It's, we wanted to create something similar to like the bar in uh, uh, from Dusk Till Dawn. I don't know if any of you are yes. familiar with that. Yes. Oh my gosh. How can you so, not remember that yes. one with Selma Hayek? Yes. Yes. Sadly, no Selma <laughs> Hayek say, or yeah. Python this year. Dang it. Unless she's listening and she wants to join us, we'd love to have you. Hey, we might come out there and dress I know, like that. That way you can burn off your taco <laughs> calories. Yeah. yeah. So we also, Dancing while eating tacos. Also have a Chihuahua beauty pageant out Ooh, there this year. I know. This yes. is your time to shine. And it's actually hosted all weekend by Savannah Wicks, who's Miss Arizona USA. So she will be the judge for the Chihuahua Beauty Pageant. We have a hot sauce expo. We have a gentleman named Vic Klinko, who is among the most knowledgeable hot sauce collectors in the country. And he has personally selected his 20 favorite hot sauces to come to our hot oh sauce tent gosh. so people can come and sample hot sauce there and pick their favorite. We have a tequila expo where you can come and try over a hundred different tequilas. I was there last year. Yes, it as was a, a lot fact, of fun. I saw you in the tequila yes, tent a lot last of fun. year. <laughs> I, yes. Make sure yes. Um, you use all the a, a driving That's service, a fun Uber, Uber, Lyft. Yes, Uber, Lyft, exactly. Yeah. We will have um, all types of different, you know, so you can actually enjoy yourself without yeah. having to get behind the wheel and, and getting yourself in trouble. There will be rides available out there at uber lyft all that so yeah so you, you said should that be. this venue allows you to be even bigger and better than absolutely. you were in years past absolutely this is for our 10-year anniversary we wanted to do it unlike we've done it before so a lot westworld is allowing us that opportunity we're really thankful Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so what kind of tacos do we have yes. today? What's happening Let today? Let me call Adam from Los Sombreros over to give you yes. the blow-by-blow. Blow. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, they are located on Scottsdale Hi. Road, Hi. and they are about to open a new location in Phoenix. Ooh. So I will let Adam take over on the taco. Oh, now okay. you want to come yeah, back in? You know? okay, yeah, now okay. Paul joins because he wants some this, tacos. You know, being the ones eating behind us. Cool, cool gig. Ooh, what is that? Oh, guacamole. Guacamole, yep. Oh, it's so good. And we also have some tacos for you guys. So we have our unbelievable uh, carnitas. Uh, we call them puerco uh, in Chipotle. So it's literally our delicious carnitas that take over 10 hours to make. Uh, so you guys get to try them. How many years have you been participating in the taco festival? We've been doing this twice now. So okay. it's, it's been just a great time. And we, uh, myself, my two partners just took over Los Sombreros about two years ago. Uh -huh. But Los Sombreros has been around for over 25 years. So now we're getting that second location, third location coming soon too. So we're just super excited to kind of get everybody to try our unbelievable food. So. How many tacos do you go through at the event? A lot. <laughs> a lot. I mean, it's nonstop. And it's amazing because I have two chefs and they're just constantly go, go, go. And it's it's just an awesome feeling to see all those people just try our food uh, and just fall in love with it. So it's Wait, awesome. Paul's already getting tacos. Oh, hey. Hey. What? Order up. Go ahead. You guys yeah. try it. Um, so, John, I know it gets busy every year. And so yes. what time do you suggest people head out there? Well, the event's from 11 to 7 on Saturday and Sunday. I would suggest getting out there right around 11 if not 
early afternoon, noon, one o'clock. You want to be out there for all the festivities. There really is something going on from the time that the gates open until they close. And it's a family fun day, right? Absolutely. It's a family friendly event. Oh, There's these are a- awful. You're not going to want to talk. <laughs> Paul just took my taco. We actually have a pinata petting zoo for the kids this year. Uh, we have all kinds of family friendly stuff for you to do out there. Oh my gosh. We are so excited. The taco festival is a big deal. <laughs> I love Big Paul. You can have it. plate underneath. <laughs> Here he is his taco. Thanks, Paul. I'll get another one. Um, But you guys definitely need to check it out. There's a lot going on this weekend. But remember, this is next weekend, the 12th and the 13th over there at Westworld. It's a big deal. Lots of people go out there. You definitely do not want to miss out on this. And you don't want to miss out on the State Fair this weekend because that is a big deal here in the Valley, too. I mean, it's National Taco Day, so you could just get started early. Maybe a warm-up to next weekend's event, yeah. right? Just see how many tacos you can eat. And uh, Actually, you probably want to save some room, right? Save because there's room? so oh, many okay. tacos Absolutely. there. How many vendors again? At 50, we're at 53 vendors right now, but that's just the tacos. We also have non-taco food vendors that will be selling elote and things of that nature. So it's it's there's a little something for everyone out there food-wise. What's the one thing that you have to do when you're at the taco festival every time you go? My favorite thing is the tequila, as you could probably guess, the tequila <laughs> expo. But I'm so excited to check out our Lucha bar, uh, Lucha ring bar, I should okay. say. I stammered on that a bit, but that's what I'm really excited for this okay, year. Okay, we got to ask. You have a lot of places to take Instagram pictures, right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm not sure if either of you are familiar with Taco Topia. Mm-hmm. Taco Topia has got a tent set up out there, so there will be plenty of Instagrammable moments for everybody. Don Julio, one of our sponsors, is setting up a little Instagram photo booth. So there, there's plenty for all of you social media addicts, plenty of places to, to hit the gram out there. All right. Well, thank you so much, John. See, there's something for everyone yep. at the Taco Festival. And I'm going to be celebrating Taco Day all day long. Don't tell the person that uh, my trainer because I'm supposed to be on a diet. Hey, real quick, shout out to my grandma. She just got in the comments said she liked my tie. Thanks, man. <laughs> I like the tacos too. Yes, yeah, tell her to eat tacos. Does grandma eat tacos? She make tacos yeah, for you? Eats tacos, come on, it's my flesh and blood. <laughs> we still need to get Paul to try a tamale. That's the one thing we need to work Ooh, on this year for when's sure. Tamale day. I don't know, but it's coming up for the holiday season, right? So we're gonna make it happen. All right, thank you, John. Link, thank, thank you for guys for coming thank out. You thank you, so you much. for bringing out the taco truck. This is amazing. So we'll go ahead and leave. Even at that, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday at uh, the show, 4.30 to 7, and then the after show at 7.30. Bye. Happy Taco Day. Okay.